It's, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of problems which we are facing is actually is it a lack of knowledge about our inner value or mental system. Everybody wants peace. What is peace? Peace is not ex external world. Peace is here. So long, peaceful mind that then that person truly carry a himsa, full of anger here, without inner peace, how can they develop genuine peace or a himsa? So, uh, every human action, whether become a himsa or harmful, ultimately lead to motivation, emotion. When we say emotion, it's all from the world. Vast. There are thousands of different emotions. In order to tackle these things, these destructive emotions, we should have fuller knowledge about the world of emotion or map of emotion. Then, uh, uh, much easier to, to tackle, such as anger. So every, I think most of the Indian, I think very, very much so fond, praise to God, uh, uh, Ganesh, or uh, any Vishnu, Shiva, 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 so on. But these gods cannot provide peace of mind. Logically, uh, who destroy, which which destroy peace of mind? Not God. But our uh, destructive emotions such as fear, anger, jealousy, too much pride, red. These things are destroy of inner peace. So the proper method, proper way to reduce this destroy of peace of mind must develop within mind. Within emotion, such as karuna, metri, and forgiveness, these things. So all major religious traditions, although you are talking these things, all the major religions, wonderful, really helpful if we uh, follow seriously and sincerely. Then all major religious traditions have the same potential. Yeah. In the meantime, Ancient Indian spirituality, a lot of explanation about mind, about emotion. So that's your treasure. Now modern Indian should not neglect these values. So you, uh, I think directly or indirectly, I think you pay more attention about this knowledge. And then eventually, uh, I think in uh, education, uh, secular education field, I think some of these sort of ancient sort of knowledge should be included. Not as a religious thing, religious subject, but as an academic subject about psychology, about deeper philosophical views. For example, one time, uh, writing, that's I think first century or second century, hmm. uh, great uh, master, thinker, philosopher, uh, and also 
also scientist, uh, chemist, chemist. Uh, uh. and then uh, see he found the concept of quantum physics. He found in some of Nagarjuna's writing. As an Indian, he feel he feel very proud. The quantum physics, the world, something new. But in this country, 2,000 years ago, already it is developed that concept. He mentioned that. So this, so therefore, you see this as an academic subject, and and I think uh, actually we are now working with help of some universities in uh, in Delhi and Mir in this area. And of course, uh, some universities, some scientists in America and also in Europe, we are already now working. So some now Indian university, as I mentioned earlier, also now showing genuine interest. So I just want to inform you. Now keep you see, these things in your mind, so directly or indirectly. Now you should make some sort of new ideas, right? right. Uh, new initiative, very necessary. Not only just a money matter, but in a way, in a way, right? I think very, very important. That I want to, to share with you. Uh, then, then I think now some questions, a true question and answer, so that we can sort of interact with. Oh, any questions? Uh, I always be uh, happy to receive a lot of different questions. Then, the that two questions is a mutual benefit. The question is, what is there sort of some drop sort of, drop sort of interest there? Or so something you see, you have, you see, or some interest or serious interest, you can ask that. And then my part, sometimes you say unexpected questions, you see, come. They are very helpful. You see, to, to, give, uh, to, to give me the, you see what's the opportunity to think more. Uh, May I ask questions? No, no, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, uh, as an answer, I always see, prefer that. Uh, so now, 10 questions. I go there. I sit down. <laughs> Thank you so much, Your Holiness, for your inspiring and encouraging words. Uh,